More NCAA bracket breakdowns, East, Midwest, West best storyline What hasn't happened at Arizona this year? An assistant coach was arrested, implicated in the U.S. Justice Department's investigation into the business of basketball. Multiple recruits dropped their commitments because of the publicity attached to that circumstance. A player was suspended, and then reinstated, after testing positive for traces of a drug that apparently remained in his system for more than a year. The head coach, Sean Miller, was accused of a serious NCAA violation in a source ESPN report that lacked vital details. Miller missed a game subsequent to that report, then appeared at press conference to announce he was returning to coach and call that report false and defamatory. You know what hasn't happened at Arizona in a while. A final four trip. Wouldn't it be something if this were the year? NCAA Tournament, get SN's printable bracket all-region team DeAndre Ayton, Arizona, freshman, power forward Kyle Guy, Virginia, sophomore, point guard Grant Williams, Tennessee, sophomore, forward Gary Clark, Cincinnati, senior, power forward Marcus Foster, Crichton, senior, shooting guard best first round game no. 6 Miami, Florida, versus Number 11 Loyola, Hill. This game will be a test of Loyola's excellent defense, which ranks 24th in efficiency and held Florida to 59 points in a non-conference victory. It's possible no team is better than Miami at isolating opposing defenders and preventing them from helping each other. The Hurricanes rank 265th in assist rate, because that's how they play it, their man versus your man. Just try keeping Lonnie Walker or Chris Likes out of the lane. Seated too high number 7 Nevada. Let's get this straight, St. Mary's gets left out for going 28-5 with a road victory over Gonzaga and Nevada gets a no. 7 seed for beating Rhode Island at home? There's no question the Mountain West is a better and deeper conference than the West Coast, but goodness, the Wolf Pack lost to three non-tournament teams and a tournament team that is a tournament team only because Nevada couldn't beat San Diego State in the MWC tournament. Nevada was down 30 at halftime of its semifinal against the Aztecs and lost by 17. If that's a 7 seed, I'm George Clooney. Seeded too low no. Yes, this is a strange category in which to find the number 1 overall seed in the tournament. But still. The Cavaliers were handed a bracket, particularly their half of the South that feels a teensy bit like the one the committee hung on undefeated Wichita State in 2014. The message seems to be, you think you're something because you dominated the ACC with only a single defeat in 21 games? Ha, huh, prove it. If the Cavaliers get through the Creighton Kansas State winner, as it should, then the Sweet 16 round will likely match them against SEC tourney champ Kentucky or Pac-12 Dolt champ Arizona. In the bottom half of the bracket is American Dolt champ Cincinnati and SEC regular season champ Tennessee. This is not a literal underseed for UVA, but it surely is a figurative one. Upset special number 12 Davidson over number 5 Kentucky. Will this happen? Probably not. Well, maybe it could. With so many teams playing variations of pick-and-roll offense, Coach Bob McKillop's fluid motion offense still looks like it did a decade ago, during Steph Curry's magical run to the Elite Eight. Except there's no Steph Curry now, Davidson shoots nearly 40% from three-point range as a team and closed the season with eight victories in the final nine games. This will be a profound defensive challenge for UK's young team. Best potential game number, 5 Kentucky vs. Number 4 Arizona, a second round. Once again, as happens most every year, the committee has managed to put UK into a position of having to fight for its life. This time, there ought to be less griping on Kentucky's side. The Wildcats were just inconsistent enough before going on their SEC tournament role that their seeding could be defended, except relative to Wichita State, how'd the committee rank the Shockers now? 14 and UK number 17. But how would you feel if you were Arizona with Kentucky as your potential second round game? It's fun for us, though, to consider DeAndre Ayton going up against UK's army of young bigs and Arizona's Parker Jackson Cartwright coping with Kentucky's sizzling shy Gilgis Alexander. The Kersey, Miller's announcement his boldest coaching decision best potential player matchup Kentucky freshman Kevin Knox versus Arizona freshman DeAndre Ayton. You might not think of this as a natural matchup, given that Ayton is 7-1 and Knox is 6-9, but Ayton does most of his defensive work away from the lane. Ayton has proven his ability to defend on the perimeter. It makes more sense to have him coping with Knox, versatility and bothering him with height and length. Whether it's Knox or PJ Washington or Jared Vanderbilt or whomever, UK's front court will have difficulty dealing with Ayton's uncommon package of size and S. Get to know, Davidson forward Payne Aldridge.
a 6-8 senior from Levittsburg, Ohio, that's near Youngstown, Al Redridge finished the season averaging 21.8 points and 7.8 rebounds in the distinction of having averaged better than 30 minutes in each of his four seasons. He played the entirety of the Wildcats Atlantic 10 championship game victory over Rhode Island, and they needed every brilliant second to earn their fourth NCAA tournament berth in the past seven years. Don't be surprised if the South games in Boise are both wild. Yes, Arizona and Kentucky are extremely talented, and now they're both accomplished as well. But Davidson, Kentucky's opponent, and Buffalo, which will play Arizona, are no bargains. UK and U are single-digit favorites according to the betting lines, and the leading analytics expert predicts even closer games. NCAA bracket picks, Bender, Virginia, Birdsong, Arizona, DeCursey, Villanova, Fagan, Villanova, sleeper team, Loyola, Hill. The Ramblers obviously have a difficult game against Miami in the first.